Welcome back to Markets Forward. HDFC Life and Max India's marriage has been solemnized, paving the way for the creation of the largest private sector insurer in the country. And like CNBC TV 18 told you last week, this merger values HDFC Life at more than 2.3 times that of Max Life Insurance. The shareholding pattern in the merged entity will see HDFC's holding come down to 42.5%, while Max Financial will hold 31%. HDFC also reserves the right to use the Max brand over the next seven years. Let's hear out what HDFC Chairman Deepak Parikh, as well as Max founder Anujit Singh, had to say. Max Life has been in operation for 16 years. They have a solid business, solid franchise. They have what we do not have, so we thought the fit was perfect on the products, on the agency, and uh, so we negotiated a fee for that. We are very bullish on the insurance sector, and insurance sector in a country like India has to grow as it has in other countries. The penetration level, even Thailand, is twice of India. And so insurance is totally underpenetrated here, and in India needs insurance companies because insurance companies have long-term money. This new entity called HDFC Life, which is the product of a merged entity, could ever be more than that? I see. I think the answer is yes. Now, you will say when. I don't know. Uh, uh, it's very difficult to say. But I think it's possible. So I don't think just once a bay not, not always a bay not. And I think if you see how the market share of the private sector relative to the total insurance business chain and so on and so forth, uh, there, is a, there is a path that, that could lead us there. So, Gorang, uh, what do you think? How will the market react to this? The numbers have been the swap ratios pretty much on expected lines. So, it's a win win situation for both mm -hmm. my senses. And I can only speak on HDFC because that's where we have a positive coverage on. And my sense is, uh, Sorobi, and as Mr. Parekh was just mentioning, that India has a huge market, huge potential. What we need to do is penetrate. And along with that penetration, I think we have to create awareness because normally people buy an insurance product only from a tax-saving point of view. Mm -hmm. So my sense is that that should change over a period of time. And I think uh, if you have uh, you know larger players and few players, it will give a big opportunity. And this is just the beginning, my sense is, uh, of M&A activity in the insurance sector. All right. On that note, let's move.